uh, do a quick video. Uh, not going to do any shout outs today, although there's a bunch of you that have subscribed and, and did uh, did the shares as well, but time kind of uh, is against me today, so I'm going to have to make this video and keep it kind of brief. I didn't want to uh, finish up the very last thing, and everybody said, well, what about the air cleaner uh, on the carburetor uh, that we went through and cleaned up and rebuilt? And they said, well, what about the air filter? What about it? So I went to go pick up an air filter and they were more than I thought it was like seven dollars and I thought gosh it's kind of high it was Briggs and Stratton I was at Walmart gosh it's kind of high um, so and I remembered something I used to do years ago y'all may already kind of know about it uh, I bought some poly foam for a dollar ninety nine I took the air cleaner, laid it on there, and made templates. So I have enough polyfoam to do three, because each of these will compress. So that'll be one, two, three. So I have enough to make three air filters for two dollars. Not too shabby. Show you what we're going to do with it. And we're going to check it to make sure it will not dissolve or break down in gasoline, too. More to come. Okay guys, now that is the very last ashtray that I own. This is a little bit of gasoline. And there we go. Let that guy soak. I smoked years ago and I peeled on to this thing just because it's a it's an antique. And I, I liked it. So, this polyfoam does not break down in gasoline. That is our biggest concern. Now, it will all melt. It may not burn, but if there's a backfire, this stuff will melt. So, you can buy the ones that say they're not flammable, but they will still melt. So, there we go. That is all good now. We're going to cut out the form, and then we'll be done. More to come. Okay, guys. This is the foam. And like I said, this is uh, poly foam. Uh, it's for cushions. So, you know, it's, you know, it has to be actually flame resistant. But, like I said, everything melts. So, I'm not as concerned about that. We are just cutting this out. I knew this stuff would come in handy. Doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. Cut it out bigger. So I could put it in. And I did this years ago when I was cutting grass. I could have bought one, but for my own use, not going to. Not when that'll do just as fine. Actually, one piece might. do just fine. Actually, I think I'm going to try it with one piece. I'll pause it right here, guys. More to come. I'll show you the finished product. Okay, guys. Just took some scissors, cut out the center. Okay. Oh, hang on. Got it on the wrong way. So one side is offset a little bit more. There we go. It's better. Now I'm going to put it on there. More to come. 
and I guess now this is the best test. Okay guys, now we're back. That was it. So, for $2, you get six filters. Somebody do the math. I'm too tired. And, uh, and that's it. Cranks runs, run all day. You can soak it in fuel, you can soak it in oil, you can do an oil pre-soak on it just like you can with all the other stuff. And it was cheap. Would I do it for a customer? No, I would not. I, I would still buy the correct one and charge them accordingly. Unless maybe they asked me to, or I could, or I'd say, "Hey, I can do this and knock you a, a few dollars off." But you start doing the cheap stuff for them, and they'll start thinking they're getting cheap work. So try to shy away from that. Do this on your own stuff. I've got four, four acres that we cut, and more that we manage. So any penny I can save on my own mowers and stuff like that, I'm really happy to do that. That's about it for this video. That's it, guys. I really appreciate your watching. Thanks for all the comments, and uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the shares as well. We'll get back on track. I had a long day today, and then I had physical therapy. Um, I'll show you real quick. Here's the incision. It is about, well, two inches. It's healing nicely. Um, it's been a rough week uh, getting back into the regular grind and then having to do a lot of extra stuff uh, as far as work goes, some emergency work we had to do. But um, hey, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, so it's going along really good. Thanks for all your co concerns and uh, your kind, kind words. I appreciate that. But we're getting better. I'm going in the house. Y'all gonna make some mayhem, guys. <laughs>